let's let's segue into the guitar for a second. Right. I know you've done, you have the LJ model with Martin. Right. Now, the LJ model is, it's an OM. It's an orchestra model, which means that it's a triple art size body. It's not as big as a dreadnought. Not like a D size. It's not a dreadnought size. It's smaller than that. But the OM, the orchestra model, has a long scale. Uh, the triple R is the same scale length, let's say, as a Gibson. But, but the, um, this is 25.4 inches. Uh, triple, uh, the short scale, like the Gibson kind of scale, is 24.9. It's a half inch difference in the scale length, which actually works nicely to, to lower tune stuff. That's a beautiful guitar. Um, well, this is the maple one. And, and the one and three quarter inch neck width is, makes it very finger style friendly. And typically Martins in the 30s did that. But then later they got into the narrower dreadnought, like at one and 11 sixteenths, which is great if you're making chords in first position, but it just doesn't give you enough space. And then I went here two and a quarter at the saddle and at the 12th fret, which isn't the full vintage width. But it, what it turns it into is a, a major kind of a performance guitar, a modern version of what they did as a vintage instrument. Adirondack spruce top, this one as a maple instrument. Um, that's, has, that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. And it's, but it's uh, available also in Madagascar rosewood too. Now, Lawrence, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you, what type of ampl amplification are you going through? Last night, I didn't use any. I played a theater where there was, I just played acoustically. Really? About 150 people, yeah. I, I, up to 300, I've actually done it with no amplification. Um, I use a detar pickup. D uh, Seymour Duncan has this uh, collaboration. It's under the saddle. Um, with a collaboration that Seymour has with Rick Turner, Duncan Turner Acoustic Research. And then I have an, a custom Audix mic inside, too. And I blend the two through a headway preamp, which is uh, an English-made preamp, uh, which is very transparent. I mean, a basic, I don't use EQ. I just use pretty much 50-50 pickup and, and microphone. Sometimes I use an external mic. Um, and that's it, you know, a little bit of reverb. And that's all I use. And then I have GHS strings. I have a signature string with them. True medium gauge, 13, 17, 24, 30. 13, 17, 24, 32, 42, 56. How'd you find working with Martin? It's quite an honor. Great. It's amazing. And it's more than quite an honor. It's a major honor. Um, and we've done now, this is, well, this is the sixth incarnation. We did it in mahogany, Indian rosewood, Brazilian rosewood, Madagascar rosewood, another mahogany one, maple, and I'm doing a limited edition um, coming up um, with wildwood guitars in Colorado of a Koa version of it. And this is a style 28, it's an OM28, uh, but we're doing a style 44, which is basically exactly the same appointments, but a style 44 is the, the AAA great wood. You know, so it's, it's an order of magnitude beyond this. But I've really tried to go for like a value for money kind of instrument. I mean, the retail price on this is 5500 including the pickup, which is actually, it, believe it or not, is value for money. When you, when you consider that if you ordered the same th thing through the custom shop with the cutaway, you'd probably be paying, you know, like six, seven grand for it. 